Greetings. So this is going to be for the Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. For who is coming toward you, April 2019. Please keep in mind that this energy is general, so it may or may not resonate for you. You can check your, um, your moon and your rising sign as well. And you also can book a personal reading with me. All the information that you will need for that will be in the description box below. Thank you so much to all of my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you'd wish. I love to hear from you all. If you are interested in daily pick of card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Breeze Spirit God Insight. Okay, let's see Scorpio. Scorpio is in my rising placement. I know I don't really talk about um, my signs on here because when I read, um, I, I don't know. I kind of, it's not that I don't want people to know what my sign is. It's just more so um, like, I don't want people to feel like I'm favoring certain other signs because of my placements or it be a thing where, because I don't really, like when I do these readings, even though these are my signs, I don't really tap into the message to try to make them resonate for me when I'm reading. Um, I'm very careful not to do that because I know all of our situations are different. So, but anyway, so we have the queen of pentacles. We have the star card in the reverse. And we have the Eight of Wands. So we'll see what this is about. So we have the Three of Wands, the Moon card, and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Four of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the king of swords in reverse. So let's see, Scorpio, who is this person? Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with um, an air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. We have the Aquarius card as well. Um, we have pentacle energy. And we have air. So I already said air. We have pinnacle as well. So it could be um, a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Let's see what's going on. I almost feel like this is someone who um, maybe walked away from the situation or moved on. But and it's kind of like they're stable and where they are currently. But it's kind of like a sudden impulse to come back in um, because this person misses you in some kind of way is what I'm feeling. Um, but let's see what we have. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? You have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, I feel like this person is hasn't emotionally detached from you. Um, why is the star card here in reverse? We have the Two of Wands. So, I feel like this person um, lacks faith in this being a situation or a relationship that could actually um, be of longevity, of something that can actually push um, to something further. I feel like this is more so just like an impulsive thing, wanting to communicate because um, they're missing you or um, they're craving the interaction. We have the Four of Wands here. So, I feel like this person desires for there to be... Um, somewhat of a more solidified commitment or just to be happy with you i'm going to clarify but i feel like um for a lot of you who this will resonate for this is someone that you have a sexual connection to um or like this is a past lover or something and i feel like they're more so wanting to come back into connection with you for the intimacy and for the intensity of um your connection but I think they know or they feel like this situation won't be of longevity. It's just kind of something that they maybe wish that could be, but it's not. Okay, so why is the moon card here? Let's see. Why is the moon card here? We have the five of wands in the reverse. I 
I feel like almost there's an energy of this person like kind of with the five of wands. It's, I don't know. It's screaming defense to me. But in the reverse, it's kind of like this person is still kind of maybe not being. I don't feel like this person will come out to you and clearly maybe say like, I miss you. I feel like maybe they may flirt or they may say something like indirectly indicating something or indirectly indicating their feelings about the situation. But I feel like um, I feel like this person is kind of waiting for you to make the move. I feel like they want something and they want something more solidified here, but it's kind of like uh, energy of them of being stable where they are now even though they haven't emotionally attached um working off of that impulse to come back toward you and then kind of wanting you when they come toward you to kind of open up or break the ice or come toward them and maybe express some things toward them but I feel like this person is willing to um like open up with their emotions and things but it's kind of just the energy of you like them needing you to make the first move kind of thing um why is the Ten of Swords in reverse? So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So yeah, I just feel like something didn't go very well within this um this situation. And I feel like they're kind of coming toward you in a sense of like, oh, I forgave you or um, will you forgive me type of thing. What, however it resonates for you. So why is the Four of Wands here? We have the three of cups in the reverse. So this could be a situation too where you had a third party situation going on. And this is someone um, that may be um, cheated on you or cheated with you. With um, Or how do I even say this? Th maybe this is a person who cheated on you with their significant other. Or um, hold on, does that even make sense? Like, it could, I feel like you're, this was like a third party situation thing, whether you had two options or they had two options. And I feel like that's something that they're longing for more so of the intensity and the intimacy of the, the relationship. That's kind of what they're missing, but they do wish for some sort of longevity here. We have the six of wands, but it's like with coming back, they kind of have, um, a goal to move forward in a certain way and to achieve some sort of fulfillment from this situation. So why is the King of Swords in reverse? Why is the King of Swords in reverse? We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like because this person lacks faith and things going a certain way, and even though this person is in the energy of trying to release whatever bad ending was had between you two, I feel like this person still wants to interact in um, an intimate way with you. But I feel like they know and they've kind of come to terms, even though it's something that may be hard for them to swallow, that a relationship can't be had here between the two of you. Um, but they like the feeling of feeling like maybe there could or um, that you two can just connect on a certain level here. So let's see. Scorpio. What is the Scorpio? I also feel like um, for some, for those of you that you don't have two options, I feel like this person is um, in a relationship right now or um, has other options. So just be mindful of that. got three. Oh no you got four I'm not eating okay. two cards for Scorpio's advice please and thank you okay we got the devil card and we have the seven of pentacles please don't make fun of my card I know it's ripped my daughter did it 
Um, <coughs> excuse me. The message that I'm getting is this would just be simply, if you move forward with this, this would simply be reinvesting in something that you know is toxic or um, something that is based off of the wrong things. And I feel like it's just going to be an energy of you continuing to invest, 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 and not really receiving um, what it is that you're wanting to really receive from this connection. So be mindful of that. Um, I hope that this reading helped you. You can check your moon and your rising sign as well. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. Thank you all so much for your support and for watching and I'll see you next time.